Lovely Laveau and fam are something else. <laughs> ain't no goddamn music this time. It ain't no goddamn music this time. We ain't nah. mess around. They trying to shut us down on YouTube. We not fooling with them. Ain't no music. We None tell y'all who we are. You gonna Boom. see a beautiful picture of us, and then us. that's it. That's, that's it. all you gonna get. That's it. So they gonna you mess up our money. No, I ain't what? got but seven dollars. I'm sorry, that's somebody you else. Rock? I ain't you got but eight dollars. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he lied to us. He said it was hey man, hold on. <laughs> You just have that one further than the rock. He's like, I got seven. All I got is about eight dollars. Hey, <laughs> Come on, man. man. Stop playing, man. Hey, yeah, you need two dollars. You know what I mean? You I got, two dollars. I got seven dollars and a quarter, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Right. Yeah, man. Hey, listen. Season two. One more time, I'm gonna say it for y'all again. Season two. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Um. Hey, you know, you know, season two. All right, all right. So hot. I'm, I'm guessing. All right, so how many we're in season two? So we're talking like 12 months, we're talking 12 season, 12 episodes. Uh, or what is this kind of uh, you know? Inform me, teach me what's going on. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but um, this is clearly his show today because yeah. we haven't even done our intros. And he, he, this is his production. intros, man. No, <laughs> no, we got we got intros, man. That's so formal. That's so formal, man. We're trying to keep it real 100. Fam, I ate fam. This is my first time on here. I'm here. I'm 100 percent here because of my my peoples, man. My peoples got me. My people, Kanisha, she she got me. So I'm here, fam. I just met you, so Absolutely. I'm gonna take over your podcast and be like, "Yo, introduce me, man. Let's go. Let's talk." Oh, don't bro. worry. Fam got his intro. Get to it. Oh, <laughs> do it. Do your intro, fam. Oh, me. I... Do Hi it. guys. I'm Ill, <laughs> fam. I'm Ill fam seven nine. Your social media choice, and I'm currently wearing five sprays of Dior, and you ain't gonna talk oh, to me any kind of way. I like that. Oh, he coming in with a strong scent. Okay, he gonna and of hit course, you. <laughs> and of course, it's your girl, Love You Love Blow. It's the black brew hop with the big blue hair. And as you can tell, we have a very spicy guest today. We have the one, the only, Tomatunga. I thought it was gonna go one way, it went another way. I'm regretting this decision. Man. Hey, that, I mean, you asked for spice. We got spice, man. Yes, we'll hit we you did. with the spice, man. We I love cannot. a spice in our little in our little talk. You know? <laughs> you throw a little recipe on it. You got to throw a little spice in your recipe because you Not never paprika. know what you're going to get, right? Yeah. Not with you. Pap paprika. <laughs> Not with you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, man? We ain't, you know, you've been out here killing it, you know, being a uh, company man, and you you out here doing your thing. Company How you feeling? Man. Is that what they see me? Is that what you nah, guys nah. see me? Nah, nah, nah. No. We see you, oh, we see what? you as, as the big dog. <laughs> no, hey, uh, I'm doing good. Um, I'm home for a little bit. I just came off uh off the road. We we just been hitting it hard. We went from like from summer to G1 season in New Japan Pro Wrestling all the way to uh, me and Jay just had a, a main event at Real Coco Sumo Hall. And they gave me a little time off. Mm, I I'll come that. home and kick it a little bit, relax, heal up the, the, the muscles, you know, and, and, and. You know, reset, reset the planning program. What we, what's next? You know, who I gotta fuck up next? Oh shit! No, you no, 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 you. Yeah, yeah, no, no. That, that's, that's this audience. That is, that's oh, oh. That's allowed. That is oh, allowed. I, I will ask though. You said I do slip up. My bad. No, I, oh, no, hey, no, no, I'm no, trying please. to go corporate. When you say company, I'm trying to go company. But well, this know. is not a company show. Trust yeah, me. No, no, as many no, no. as I drop. Ain't no company. Ain't no company. What I will say, you said you gonna you came home to kick it. What What are you doing? To kick it, quote unquote. Man, uh, all right, shit. I'm gonna get a little, little wholesome content on you. So I got, I got, I got uh, my wife and my my two kids, boy and a girl. So when I come home to kick it, I, I'm spending time with them. You know, usually when I'm on the road, when I'm working out in Japan, I'm out, I'm out for like two to six weeks at a time. So uh, at a young uh, with my kids being so young, I miss out on those like those gaps, those stages, man. I miss out, you know, one through four, one through six. There's like you can't miss anything because they grow so fast, you know. So uh, I come home and try to make up for those times, you know. Mm. I'm 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 here at home. 
you know, I, I'll basically, so the schedule for tomorrow is I got to wake up, take my son to school, then take my daughter to gymnastics. And then we take my daughter and me to pick up my son from school again and then come home while my wife just goes, hangs out and just goes to work out. Yeah, she deserves. I, oh, <laughs> <laughs> she deserves. All right, all right. It, so that's 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 the duties of 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 me right now that we're switching. You know, because when I'm gone, that's what she does. So mm-hmm. when I'm home, I gotta you know give her a little break, let her have a little me time, get my you know my daddy duties in. Boy, fam, boy, you got your your I you thinking, man? You in the zone? Come on, fam. I gotta see you smile a little bit. Gotta give you some love oh, nah. over here. Let's, that's <laughs> that's the jokester right there. Yeah, he's just trying to get, get your oh, he, 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 he conjuring up jokes right now. He's trying to think of some <laughs> shit. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, I I want to stay. I want to stick with, with with your family life for a second. You mm-hmm. you say you 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 spending time on the road and you're coming home. Are there um. What's that like between like you and your kids when you come home? I, I, I know not too long ago you, you made some decisions with your bed that you know we might have to discuss. We don't have to bring that up. Um, but like, did, do they do they react to that stuff? Are they like, Daddy, where's the rest of your yeah, friends? Yeah, like, so so like a so like different ages is different as time goes on, and uh, you know, and it depends on how long I stay in Japan. So like, uh, my son, right? He's my son is four years old, so. Right now, he's already caught on to what I do. You know, I leave for a certain amount of time, and he looks forward to it. So, like, his trick right now is, like, Daddy, you coming home soon? I'm like, yeah. He goes, you going to bring me a lollipop? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this sucker right here. Uh, he already knows me already. He trying to, he, you know, he trying to, he going to get it in. Yeah. He going to get his, you know. So, But my daughter, you know, she's two years old, and uh, she's just, man, I remember when I left uh she was she was about one years old and i left for four months last year this was last year the pandemic was still mm-hmm. like japan was just like ah we, we're not america we're still gonna hold off on everything so um they had me stay in japan for four months and uh the year before that i had missed christmas because i had to stay there because of the pandemic so i'm like man y'all driving me crazy i i, I don't know what to do so my my daughter was born in at the first day so, so my, my daughter was born in 2020, March 20th of 2020, the day that the pandemic was put into full effect here Ooh. in Flor- in Florida. So I went into to the, to, uh, the hospital, my wife, and she had the baby. There was no pandemic. And then when we came out, there was a pandemic, and it was eerie. It was so strange because everything was shut down. And I remember we came from the hospital, right? And uh, oh, man, I'm going off way off here, but we're gonna, you know, we're gonna talk a little bit. Thing. But you know, but but I, I I came, we came home from the hospital, and we were staying in my in my uh my parents in law, my father and, and mother in law. So my wife's gonna stay with them. They're gonna look after them. I'm like, all right, I gotta go to the gym. I gotta go to the gym, dude. You know, gym is like you know you're a wrestler. That there there is no if ends or buts about anything. Get your ass to the gym. You know, so I'm like, all right, I just have my daughter. You're cool. I'm going to the gym. I went to the gym and everything was closed. And I remember my my mother-in-law laughing at me when I said, I'm going to go to the gym. And I was like, what's, she? <laughs> what's so funny? He ain't even know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think he about to go work out? Uh, yeah, man. I go up in there and I'm, everything was shut down. I'm like, I can't even get a McDonald's, no Wendy's, no nothing. Yeah, everything was shut down. I was like, man, this is crazy. So, like. Yeah, so that was that. That man, what the hell were you we talking about? I want to get lost. He was so. asking you about your beard when you cut your yeah. beard. How did your kids react? Yeah, yeah. So that's so that's what happened. You know, like so so. My daughter now is just like uh, grasping that I, I I leave for a period of time and come back. And so thank goodness for FaceTime. In those video chats because they they do fill in those those voids you know mm-hmm. that when i'm away so uh, i just remember that first time when i left she was under one years old um and i came back after f- four months being away and uh, i remember they pulled up to the airport and i see my son and my son is like my my the windows are all down and they can see me in the back seat my son is like oh my god daddy 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 
And then my daughter was like, probably like maybe, maybe a year old. And she looked at me. She she was just happy, right? She was just happy because she sees my sees her brother all happy. Like, so she's gonna follow whatever her brother does. And then she sees me and she looks, and I could tell that gaze. <laughs> that gaze, like, she's like, wait a minute. I know you. I know you. Wait, where the hell are you? Wait, what? And I walk around, she goes. And I walk around and she's putting everything together. She's like, wait a minute, you're where the hell you been? And I went to go <laughs> hug her. I went to hug go hug her and she went like this. She's like pull away from me. I was like, oh my heart. My heart. And I was like, oh shoot. She's like, you know, and I could I almost can kind of like feel what she's thinking. Like, yeah. how dare you leave me for that long? You know, like where have you been? You know, because then now she's like, oh, sh-. you know, everything's clicking, but that was then, and she's catching on now to to me being away. And um, like I said, Facebook, um, the Facebook Messenger to like the, the video chats, FaceTime uh, video chats have been like so instrumental in in like connecting us and keeping us connected while while I'm away. Yeah, you y'all know? hear that? You make time for what you want to make time for, people. Did you hear that? He gave you some gems, <laughs> so I don't want to hear no more excuses. <laughs> so with right. you, bonding, you have to bond with your children because you've been away for so you know mm-hmm. months at a time. How do you reconnect with your wife? Don't get too deep. Don't get too graphic. But that's important too. You know what I mean? You have she has the babies when you're gone. You take daddy yeah. when you come back to give her some free time. But there still yeah. is that connection for you guys. Well, yeah, so at the beginning, it was just like, um, you know, you, you have to understand, I grew up in this lifestyle. My father was a pro wrestler, too, uh, King Haku, back in the day. And so that's in the 90s, right? So 90s had no FaceTime. Yeah. We had the pay phones. <laughs> right? so, so when he was gone for those months at a time, my, my mother was like captain of the ship. She was always a captain of the ship, though. You know, she was, she was, you know, she was going to be the captain of the ship. So she, <laughs> <laughs> you know, she, she steered us wherever we needed to go. And then my father would make these phone calls from like Mexico or Japan on these hot ass, expensive ass phone calls, you know. Yeah. And I remember he called us one time when he was on a plane and I, I was like, boof. I was like, he calling us from a plane? <laughs> what, are you, what are you riding on? Yeah, he's the president. Is he you one on one? What was what, that? Are you Air Force dude. One right now? <laughs> <laughs> right. This yeah. is the early '90s, so you don't know anything, you know. And but he was gone at that time, and he so whenever he could, he just hit us up, you know, pay phones or wherever he could, and it wasn't accessible like how we are so mm-hmm. accessible to everything that we have right now, and um, so. I grew up in this lifestyle. I grew up with a father figure on the road and providing, and, my, and the mother was like the woman to to take care of things. And um, so I saw like the things that they were having troubles with back then, you know. So and and what's great about now is that my mother and, and father still talk to us, like especially my wife. You know, she they come to my wife and be like, "Hey, this is how this sometimes goes." So they give inputs. Mm. They, they 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 give like uh hey this is what happened with us don't if, make those you, same mistakes right right yeah. you know so it, it it's a it's a helping hand and I and I'm so grateful for for my my family to do that because it, we are a wrestling family we yeah. are a wrestling dynasty and this is my father always said that he didn't know that my brother and I were going to come into this game, let alone the youngest brother going to come in this game too. He just thought out he was just, it was just going to be him. Mm-hmm. Then he finds out 20 years later that his he kids had are legends. in it. He had legends. Didn't even yeah. know. It. <laughs> yeah, man. They, you know, he was pushing us away from wrestling. Both my parents were pushing us from away from wrestling to like do something else besides this, please. <laughs> I, I think it was just, it was just hard. It was a hard lifestyle. And yeah. um, and they just didn't want us to kind of put in that kind of like th- that difficulty, yeah. you know, to go through that difficulty. But you know, you make. It I work. mean, you make it work. Yeah, you know. I, I, sometimes when you grow up in this lifestyle and you see the things that's happening, 
you're already programming your mind how to adapt. So when that comes towards you, you're already thinking, this is where my parents, you know, like this is the road that you know. You didn't yeah. have to go to college to learn about this. Nobody you taught this. you this, but you're living in your parents. So like this to me is like, well, I mean, I know this, you yeah. know, so I, I'm going with it unconsciously knowing this. You know what I'm saying? If that yeah. makes any sense to you guys. No, it, it does. Because I mean, uh, of course, we're going we gonna to get into it. Originally, I was upset when I saw he, he had nuptials and got married. I was like, he just going to do this behind my back? I didn't get an email or nothing. Didn't get no kind of email. But seeing the growth, not just your family, but seeing the growth as you, as a man, you have like grown over the last few years. And it's beautiful to see. So, of course, now I accept it and I support it. And all that good stuff. <laughs> wow. Hey, wow. fam. Hey, fam. What's up, man? <laughs> let me, let me I had to throw one fast. in there. I had to throw <laughs> one in there. So now you mentioned you mentioned the road. Um, I know you gotta get your workouts in, and I know you gotta go to work. There, there's a significant time that I aren't spent at those two locations. What are uh, we doing? What are we doing in that downtime when you when you got some downtime to get up? That right there. I mean, we <laughs> hang out. You know, I, I, I hit up some friends. And we, you know, we, I'll be honest with you, I'm I'm a reclusive. I, I don't, like, I feel, uh, so, you know, I'm getting a little older now. And, and so, if I can make it more precise, I... I ain't got I ain't got time for all that. I'm out, out trying to hang out with friends. I already did all that, you mm. know. I, I hung out with all my boys, all my friends. You know, we 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 parted. It, it, that was the goal in 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 the early years. So let uh, I am now where I am now, and I got kids, and I'm like, this is a different stage. So I have my wife, my kids. This is I hang out at home. Mm. I, you know, we do a little, you know. Enjoying ourselves. <laughs> what, 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 what sort of beverage? What sort of beverage in your downtime you are you ingesting there, sir? What, what are you? Uh... It's it's the blue clan. The the blue can. Oh. The blue clan. I was about the, blue say, can, uh, the blue can on 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 the the white claw. You know, low carbs. Okay. You know, high. I I, I'm still it. not into it. Yeah, I'm my man trying. To, listen, but he's who's, trying. But who's, to... but who's but who's asking? Right? Yeah, we we ask. Oh. I'm not. Uh, I mean, but come on, you, you know. So just you ain't you ain't gotta like you ain't gotta like what you try to do, but you know, there's a hey, goal. Guys, hey, listen. <laughs> if, hey, listen. You it, it it might not be a Benz, but if the car gets you there, you gonna drive it. Sometimes, right? sometimes you gotta ride in the goddamn yeah, Civic. That, that's, that's it. I'm trying to go to A to Z. I'm <laughs> trying to skip B, C, D, E, F, G, all that. You know, I'm damn. I, enough. If I try, I'm getting what I want. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm constantly right. <laughs> Mom. Whiskey Ooh, and Terramana. Hey, I'm about to, hey, hey, that whiskey, man. I'm about to I'm about to put out a video on patreon.com backslash Thomas Island. I'm but a little highball whiskey. Okay. okay. I I like I know where you're at. I like where you I like where your mind at. Man, <laughs> fam, we should hang out sometimes. Yeah, sure, every yeah, single sure, time, time, every episode, this happens. How do you steal my people? I'm the coolest. <laughs> I'm the coolest. <laughs> you, listen, hold on, hold on. You hung out with me. I yes. I'm fun. God dang it. You are. You are, boy. <laughs> listen, we have a good knows, time. I'm the guy. I'm the guy with the backpack. They know it's whiskey in the backpack. It's a good time. So it's always a fun time. Out, yeah. You yeah. already know. I am. I am um, a, a fan of uh, 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 whiskeys. But whiskeys, um, um, tequilas, <laughs> all sort of uh, uh, libations mixed with uh, young uh, 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 men hanging out with testosterone. And sometimes fights happen. Uh-oh. Can you tell me? Uh, is ask there, him, is ask, there him, a... ask him the way that she was about to say it. Don't you curve it. Ask him. Straight up. Watching out for yourself. Uh -huh. Can you tell me about a time you had to beat the brakes on somebody for getting out of line? In 
In what? In wrestling? In no. life. Outside. Outside. In life. Ooh, forget on life. All right. Uh, first thought in my mind is no. Not that I, I, I never had to like. I never had to flex on anybody because I, I'm not. I think I, you know, I'm always on the defensive. Mm. I'm never on the offensive, right? So, I never had to like put somebody in their place because I, it, it just that's just not me, you know. Like if that's who they're gonna do, they're gonna do that. And I'm like, I'm gonna mind my own damn business and not bring me trouble. I'm not gonna bring me trouble because yeah. I'm just gonna add to my shit. And I, I was like, I got enough shit already. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to add more shit. If he got, if he got problems with anything, or she, or whoever, that's them, and that's that's cool. Did I, was I always like this? Hell no. I was that guy to like, we're gonna compete. I was a compete. Um, I, I was a competitive dude, you know. Mm. Okay. Uh, but but but. So you like a? Are you a guy like? If you can take ten shots, I can take ten shots. Are you that kind of? Yeah, guy? I was. I I don't want to say that I'm that kind of well, guy. Yeah, you you I, you. I, I, I think. Past that. Yeah, I think I think there's a. Everybody goes through this stage, right? Everybody goes through an age, of like testing themselves. How far can I take it? You know, what can I do with this? What can I do with that? And you learn. It's almost like a class, right? Yeah. You're, you're you're just like you're teaching yourself what you can get away with, and you know how far is your limit, and you you try it in your early twenties, especially when the testosterone is like freaking hitting hard, you know, like I you're imagine like, seeing ain't no, there in his ain't no, <laughs> uh, ain't no man gonna tell me what I'm gonna do, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, ain't no man gonna tell me. I say I'm the fastest the one out here, I'm hmm. the fastest hands. The, I can drink the most alcohol. I can do this. I can do that. I can do that. Uh, every, I think if, I think a lot of people, men, <laughs> has gone through that kind of like stage, I, I would think, right? I would think. Mm-hmm. I, I, unless it's just, just me. Unless I'm uh, nah, talking you, nonsense, you, right? You definitely, you, know. you definitely not on an island there, sir. We've, we've all, we've all had our, 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 uh, Fair shares of wild nights. <laughs> we you know have them too, but ours isn't testosterone driven, of course. It's a little bit different and it gets wild, but thankfully at 36, I no longer do those things. I am a grown ass adult, but I will still be. I don't ass. think you're way out of it yet, though. You I would be surprised. You still, I, th- I, I think, I know, I, I, like I said, I don't think you're, I think you're out of it, but I don't think you're all the way out of it. I think there's still like that. You know, test me attitude in there, and that test me attitude is like try me. Here's I what said, it is. Hey, Here's- hey, fuck up, hey, fuck around and find, find out. out. Here's the yeah. thing. Now, <laughs> fam, fam knows me. I yeah. I tend to like peace. I enjoy my peace. I enjoy my solitude. I'm very much a recluse as well. Even though on the internet people think that I'm just wild and crazy, I'm in the house all the time. But yes, there is a stage that I do have that if you fuck around too much, you'll find out comes real fast. And it's not pretty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we had a conversation. Uh-huh. We had a conversation before we were on the night, and I was like, yo, when there's a situation where anything is going on, one person can do the freaking out. Two people can't. So, you know, quite often we'll have our conversations. And Miss Miss Lovely will be on ten, and I gotta be on two. But yeah. I'm I've learned to curb it because it's too much at stake. Is it's not worth That's it, like, you know? It's like a it's tag no team, point. though, right? It's yeah, like a tag team, right? So like you see a partner. If you look at wrestling, and we're gonna use that as like a metaphor or some sorts, right? So you look at tag team. And tag team are always like you got the higher up guy and you got the lower guy. And what I mean by that, you like you got this like charismatic dude and you got like this like not so charismatic dude. And then you got the speed. If you're looking for the perfect tag team, mm-hmm. you get the speed and, and, and like agility. Guy. And then you got a strength and like unmovable guy, right? He's like the, the powerhouse Hobbs type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like 
So like you play in their wrestling, you go in and then you like you you you're checking things out. You're playing the field. You're playing a wrestling match, right? You're 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 wrestling, and then you're seeing what the other guys are bringing, right? And then you gotta adjust yourself to you and your player to figure out how to beat them, cause cause you can't just be both like strength, right? Yeah. You can't just be both. You have there's this like there's this thing that you guys gotta play to make things work into your favor and and push out a better uh, outcome, if I would yeah. say, You're right? So like, that's just the way I look at things. The way I looked at my brother was, my brother was like this freaking heavy foot, solid muscle, you know? And I was like, all right, well, I can't be that, you know? Even though that's what I was trying to do as a singles players the years before that, you know? And I'm like, nah, I gotta change my ways. I gotta, I have to adapt. Now I'm, I'm the agile, you know, fast guy, you know, and, and, and so we complement each other, but we're trying to get the outcome of our opponent. We're trying to see mm-hmm. how we can fight our opponent. So if you guys can look at it like that, you know, you adjust. Not every, not every day. Yeah, I know. I can see that, you know, <laughs> every day, every calm. day. Yeah, yeah every day you switch, you be. know. He, I haven't Ooh. had to switch with him just yet. No, no, I did have to wait. I did have to calm you down that one time. That one mm. time in band camp. Had to swerve around it. Fair enough. There it is. <laughs> now, I did want to bring something up that a lot of people probably don't know about you. Um, you used to be a bodybuilder. Yes. I mean, yes. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't professionally, like, because mm-hmm. I, I did it for CMLL uh, in Mexico. I they asked if anybody wanted to join a competition, and I said, "Sure, why not? I'll, I'll do it." You know, I'm I'm always willing to try something and push what I can do and learn about other subjects. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah, I tried. I tried the bodybuilding, and and I've learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and and I still apply that to the, to you know to, to today and how I you know move forward on things. Um, it was a good learning experience. Yeah, that's something I didn't expect to see. But then I saw the pictures. I was like, I get it. I I understand. That was a good choice. So I know you gotta you know to do what you do. I know you gotta hit the, hit the gym pretty hard and X Y Z. But I know you got to have them cheat days just to make life a little bit better. But on your cheat days, what's on your plate? Mm. Oh, man. Pizza, uh, Whopper, uh, Baconator, uh, shoot, name it, name it, bro. That's super cheat day. I'm on it. I'm, yeah. Like sometimes I, you know, I, I don't, I'm not, you know, a lot of people on social media and, and all that, they have that, like this like set plan. And when they fall off, they're like, this is my cheat day, and I'll get back. Nah, I'm 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 all on, I'm all on feel. I'm like I don't feel I don't feel good. I'm gonna stay here. Mm. I don't feel good. I'm gonna keep doing the things that I want to do till I feel good again. And then okay, we're back on. I, I I put a lot of things on emphasis on feel and how I feel and I and I play today. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. I don't know if that's the the worst thing to do. But I know that people have better plans or whatnot but when i cheat man i cheat i go in i mean yeah, i'm ask, going in we I'm, gotta I'm, ask I'm, our I'm, favorite question though <laughs> you, on, your, on your cheat day do you get a good steak and if you do how is it prepared on my cheat day it's not on steak Ooh, okay steak is, yeah steak like steak is not a cheat day steak is like still on the path because mm-hmm. because it's that's pure protein mm-hmm. no carbs no nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. you you you're in right uh on my cheat day i'm 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 double whopper with cheese um i'm going ham he going yeah. to sleep he got the ice I'm, up yeah there. oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> i'm i'm in with the with the blue can and I'm, oh shit <laughs> oh my God. So when you do get your steak, how do you prepare it? Because we love talking steak on here. This is kind of our thing with our guests is talking a good yeah, cut. Yeah, so, so um, I I mean, uh, it's a medium. I'm, I, 
I eat protein. I uh, there's one guy that I used to tag team with. Uh, his name was Strongman, uh, Strongman Anderson. Uh, he was nothing but just muscles and skin, and yeah. all he taught me was just eat protein, eat protein and protein and greens. That's it. So any protein and greens that was that's the, that was my diet, and, and I still use that to this day. The only time I kind of like try to uh, take any carbs of any kind. Is when I know that I, I got to lift the next day, like uh, if I got a like leg workout or I'm trying to build my chest. So on chest days, I'm like, I got to eat carbs so I can like push up because carbs is, is what like fuels you to like go longer and further, you know. So, yeah, I, everything is, is like I assess my days on like. Here and now, let's go. What's 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 the next plan? You know what's funny? <laughs> Is the way you describe it is is really um if you listen to like Floyd Mayweather how he talks about like um I'll party all I want but if I feel slow if I feel weak I'll go work yeah. out right then so yeah, yeah I've, I've heard that 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 uh, workout yeah. on field theory um yeah are you a, a big um like hobby guy are you you are you into the video games or music or sneakers what do you what do you what's your what's your thing other than outside of what you're known for. Um, can I, can I have you guys pause this? Can you pause the podcast real quick? I don't know. If is that, is that possible? We, we can, we can definitely edit it. Talk all right. All right. Absolutely. Give me, give me one minute. All right. I'm sorry. Give me one oh, minute. And we're back and we're Woo-hoo. back. You know what I mean? See season two. We can do what we want. You know what I'm saying? Here we can have a slight intermission. Take us oh. a break. You know what I mean? Here. I needed to break. Bathroom. You know, you guys gotta get paid for this, yeah. man. We got bills. I had to refill my drink. You know what I'm saying? So this is what we're doing right now. My Terramata was running low. Okay. <laughs> okay. Shit. So, 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 what I was asking is, are there what are the the your your hobby? What are you doing in your off time? What's your man thing? Every man's got a thing. Like I'm a, I like sneakers and hip hop. Um, what is your you know what I mean your 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 hobby? Your, your, the thing that you're into into. I'm. Uh, it sounds very uh, douchebag, but I'm 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 the gym man. I like, <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm this. That's just where I like. I like that physicality. I like uh, keep moving. Um, I, you know. But before that, like uh, maybe I'm just getting older, and I just started to see other things that was more important. That I should make my priority. But video games was my thing before, right? Mm-hmm. And um, it, it was all fun and dandy, but uh, I, I, it was just just taken away. Like it, I didn't, I didn't see too many positives from that. I couldn't in my own life, you right. know. So when you were playing, when you were playing yeah. games, first yeah. of all, yeah, what is the game that you would talk the most trash about and tell like no one could beat you and like what? What is the game that got the majority of your time when you were playing video games? Man, do you not know me, man. No game ever eludes me from talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> All games get the talking shit, man. Um, whatever platform, I think that's just one of my um. I love talking shit. Is is just my thing, you know. Um, so any game that I'm on, even if it was like a turtle race, I'm talking shit. You know, I'm gonna talk shit. I mean, it, that's just. I think talking shit is just adds a level of like, especially when you can hit them hard and they don't have no comebacks. That's just like that's. What are you gonna do with talking shit? But that's that's <laughs> that's dope. Man. And, and I put I put other folks on the spot before. Here I'll do this with you really quick. Okay. Is, who would be your Mount Rushmore, yourself not included, of trash talkers? Who would you say is the top four? Trash talkers, and this is in the business, out the business, all time people you see on TV. Anybody? I I think right now the most obvious, I think the top of the game right now is MJF. MJF is on <laughs> is on 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 that level. Like he's really a, a he's he's smart. He's mm-hmm. a wordsmith. He's really like calculated on the way he he speaks. And I come from like on the fly, like. Uh, my shit is like it's dirty. 
is like grimy. It's like sitting in 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 the lunch room during lunch break. You're like spitting to to the dudes next to you, and you're trying, you know, you're trying to invoke something. And he's just really calculated. He's very thoughtful on on the way he approaches uh, the situation. So I think he's on top of the game right now. So I would put myself against him, not saying that I'm on that level, but that's the kind of competition I would like for myself is for somebody like that to push me to be better. So um, out of respect for him and what he's doing right now, yeah, I would, I would MJF. I like he just wants me to up my game, mm. you know, my vocabulary, my 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 delivery, everything. You know, I think he's like a hmm. I think he's he's very good at like. He ain't no rock. He ain't no, he ain't no like. I don't know. There's a, there's 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 something to him. He's really good, but he ain't like. He's not mm. as quick with it, but he can get under your skin. Yeah, like I'm I'm trying to like think of the right word for it. You, you he know. can get a reaction, but he's not yeah. the yeah. showman. He's yeah. not the showman that a lot of those other guys yeah. are. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I like. I know already angles that I can punk them on. You know, I already I already know my angles, and like when you when you when you're watching like wrestlers, right? You you're you're always competing. So you're like, well, I got him on this, I got him on that, I got him on this. I said, uh, he got me on that. If you're a true artist mm-hmm. on this game, then you'll be like, all right, you got to humble yourself. Be like, all right, I got to catch up on that. You know, and and I see a lot that he's ahead on. But I'm like, nah, I see some that I'm on, but not, that I got him on. But I'm like, uh, ah, he wears yeah. his heart on his sleeve a lot, so it's easy to to puncture his his. Yeah, I did too, I did too. But that was a learning curve, mm-hmm. you know. That was a learning curve, and 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 you know. So the way I could look at that, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm two three years ahead of him on that part right there. Mm-hmm. So like, how how do I approach this? How do I like? Cause he he's young, right? He's fiery. He's like he thinks that he he pulled a company through a, a, a situation. I'm like, yeah, nah, that wasn't you. <laughs> Not that yeah. guy. Yeah, you know. But the, but but I respect the way he's the road that he's on. You know, mm-hmm. and I and so yeah. If there was a guy that I could spit with right now, it'll be him because he keeps you on your toes. He like. He's like methodical. He's smart. He's intelligent. And you're trying to figure out how to like wordplay each other. Got you. Especially so who will be your three more? You get if you got three more. Oh shit! Right it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it could be in the business, out of the business. Somebody that you know yeah. up the street. They used to give yeah, it to you. Somebody, you uh, from? Uh, 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 somebody in music or on TV. Yeah. Anybody. Like just oh, man. Oh, trash God. talkers in general. Oh. I think Dave Chappelle, mm-hmm. because he's so, um, in, he is, I think, the top of like okay. deli- delivering a message mm-hmm. in a way that you didn't see it coming. And then at the end, you're like, oh, shit. He just told me a whole, and then like the whole story comes to your head at the last, like, Delivery punch, boom, and then and then everything is just like, oh my god, fantastic storyteller. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I think that's what it is. It's a storyteller, right? Mm-hmm. It's a storyteller. I I love a storyteller. I think that's our whole world, right? A whole mm-hmm. world is storytellers. Mm-hmm. He who tells history is a storyteller. In, um, cahoots with the emperor, the president, or whoever, if not for themselves. Uh, so it's funny It's funny you say that, right? I heard you say, like, someone cause, uh, you, someone asked you uh, wh- who would be your dream guest, like, on, a, uh, uh, on your podcast or whatever, and you said FDR and Elon Musk. F- FTR, because... FDR. F- FDR, the uh, Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Oh, you said shit. Roosevelt. Jesus. 
I'm like FTR, all right? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> He's like, I don't remember saying that. No, no, no. Oh, you said, you said Roosevelt. Yeah, yeah. F F FDR and who? And and I think you said Elon Musk were the two people you would love to have interviewed and had a chance to. I think you were maybe reading a book or something about FDR. Yeah. At the time. No, no. I was reading. Uh, yeah, both of them. So um, at that time, I was reading about I was reading about uh, Elon Musk, and I was just starting a book on um, Roosevelt. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, oh, uh, it's um, uh, war. Uh, oh shit! It's what's happening right now in Afghanistan with the different tribes. Uh, mm. um, what's it called? Oh my goodness! Anyways, uh, so um, yeah, so so what? I, I love the idea of Elon Musk pursuing a path towards the future. I really admire that. Like somebody that would take you by the hand and be like, we're going no matter what. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like he doesn't care about the politics at this moment. He doesn't care about like people infighting because when you go – out to outer space if you're an astronaut and look back to the earth it's just a ball yeah you don't see nothing you don't see nothing if you only could know how small and insignificant and i don't want to say insignificant in a bad way but just how minute we are mm -hmm. you you would be like shit there's a bigger purpose at least that i would think you know Okay. Just more, more to this than the little games that we play on each other mm -hmm. to get ahead of each other, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I admire him using technology to push us ahead to see, to instead of like focusing on our bullshit, to focus on what's out there and the push us picture. out. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah. So if they can I, get past I, his controversy and actually see what he's trying yeah. to get to, I can see. I see what you're saying. You know, it, it, yeah, he's not a perfect human being. You know, he does his dirt. You know, so do we all. Yeah, right. Who we are all. we? We all we. You know, we ain't shit. Uh, we just something else. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, but we love, but we love to pass judgment on, um, on, on, on other people to make ourselves feel good. Okay. You know. Forgetting, forgetting what we what we ourselves have done in the past that we're still trying to make amends and peace with. So, anyways, <laughs> you oh my God, got we got, you got, we deep. got deep, you deep, man. Help, hey, you know. So, so um, so that I I love that vision. I love that vision forward. Let's go, let's go. Um, FDR. Uh, I, 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 I'm a big, um, I love history, uh, especially love war history, you know? And, um, so I like, I study like a lot of like wars that's happened over the, our history. And I, I go back and forth and, and I, and if you look at the, the history of America, we're a very young country and for us to go to major play, major player, it was a, a very short amount of time. Mm. And if you try to study how we got to that position, World War II was a big major play in how we did that, you know, especially with the bullshit that we've done. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so so when you study that and you're like, oh, my gosh, you know, and FDR was just he was uh so america is just like any other company right if you look if you look at america like a business it because it is a business yes, right it is. <laughs> so when you have a company even when you look at you two right you two are different entities and so to to make things happen you guys got to talk to each other before you agree on certain terms and go forward and make things happen so america was like that well it probably still is i'm sure it still is um, so FDR, like the the army, the navy, 
the president, the sec everybody was on different like Wait, shit. Wait. Yeah. Wait, like everybody was trying to do what they were gonna do to make sure that they had power. So everybody was after power, you know, who would listen to us. So there was no common goal, a true common goal. And FTR FDR was, was the one that like really um connected all the dots and really pulled us through and and really got because england england was a powerhouse right mm -hmm. england he got england to fall under us under our general to spearhead the military everything that happened in world war ii so Y'all got Tom and Tony giving y'all history lessons. <laughs> you don't Absolutely. get this anywhere else. Not, nowhere else. You're not going to get this anywhere else. Like he just uh, screwed up. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. And since he took us deep, we're going to get a little bit shallow because we're bringing back our, our one, two, three, four, five count. And this time we have five new questions. So to let Mr. Tom and Tony know what's going on and for you new viewers out here, Five count, five questions that we ask our guests to kind of get a little bit into their brain. A little weird questions, but hey, it's always a fun time. So, sir, are you ready? Yes. All right. <laughs> First question on the five count. If you could listen to one artist for the rest of your life, who would it be? Oh, J. Cole just comes to, 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 to mind. Mm. He makes pretty good music. I think he has the verse of the year. I think it's a very good answer. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect J. Cole. All right. Now, question number two. What uh, movie or TV villain did you think was right? I feel like this is the question we're going to get a lot of the same answer because I, I, I know. I agree. Yeah. What What TV villain? Yeah, TV or, or movie villain that you thought, oh, he's got a, He's kind of got a point. Like a point, like what? Like he was like right. He was, he was right. Yes. Like we. How about we give you our answer so you can see what we're doing here? Okay. I'm going to say, but Killmonger was correct. Yeah, that's that. I think we're gonna. Get I that. understood. I'm not saying that his methods were perfect. They were flawed, but I get where he was coming from. Just saying. Okay. How about you, fam? I mean, to be honest, that is the answer. I I think that a lot of folks. Are gonna give is that Killmonger answer is is a That's very good answer. That's but sometimes I, I'm gonna be honest, Magneto. I'm gonna I say, was gonna say Magneto too. Well, Magneto is based on Malcolm X, yeah. so he can't be that far off base. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hmm. So this is a villain. Mm -hmm. Explain it one more time. A villain that that, of, of, that you think was right. was right. Yeah, he was he was going down the right path. He might he might have killed some people to do it, but but I understood. I understand why he did what he did. Oh shoot! Then then I I've never thought of it like that. I never put myself in that position. So I please explain to me. Like Mag like we were just saying, like Magneto. So let's talk about Magneto here, right? His whole thing was, hey, the humans are trying to take us out because they don't want to see us progress. And we already know that we're super, we're way better than them anyway. So we have to protect mm -hmm. our own by any means necessary. Now, mm -hmm. while his methods were flawed, you know, while his methods were flawed, the message. I get it. I get it. Okay. I got it. Ah, so you ah towards Killmonger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Killmonger. And you guys and you guys think this is the right way. Uh not the right way, but I understand. I, I, I understand why he did what he did. Ah, okay, yeah. I understand. Just uh, just as much as you understand Magneto. Correct. Just Maybe as, a little more. I think I think I I I, I understand Killmonger and, and can can uh, can uh, relate to him a little bit more though. You know what I mean? You can, oh right, you guys can. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You could understand. Oh, oh yeah. so you trying to ask me who I think what villain? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and obviously, I don't stand in the same place as you two. That's fine. Because well, nobody I never, stands exactly in the same place. 
But you have more of a similar tie than I do. You could say that. Okay. And so, I can see. I but can I mean, see Killmonger, you... Killmonger has hair. I don't. So, you know. <laughs> so, maybe. Maybe. Which hair in particular. Like, what is going on? Chest hair. hair <laughs> chest hair. Arm hair. Butt yeah. hair. What is it? You know, <laughs> next question on the five count. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna move. <laughs> so, so yeah. So, but I, I don't know. I, I never, you know, I, I just never uh, placed myself in that position. I, I don't think there's there was a villain ever really put in my in that kind of position for myself. I guess you never found yourself rooting for the villain on TV. That's fine. Rooting for the bad guy. Have that you I can like. Have you watched House of Dragon? House of the Dragon. Have you watched that yet? I watched it. Yes. Everybody's a villain. Damon. Damon. I Who would you say is Damon? Damon the, is um, Rhaenyra's uh, the, the uncle husband. husband the husband. I know. Yeah, husband. I, I know. But what are you trying to say? Here's, Here's the thing. So he's the villain that at first you're kind of like, Ugh. but I then when you just start to see him. what happened, yeah, but when you see what happened, it's like. Well, if y'all had just made him the hand of the king in the first place, none of this would have happened. Damon, nah, but he's, none still, of this Ill. He's, he's still ill right now. I mean, yeah, but that's the thing. Here's my, my theory with villains. All villains were good people that got done wrong by the good guy. Yeah, yeah. I think the, all, the best villains have some sort of righteousness in their cause. It's mm -hmm. usually they methods that don't it's the method. uh, jive with po folks. Right. Okay. Yeah. So can I say that all heroes are the ones who turned out heroes after they were done wrong by villains? I think most heroes kind of just, I, I think heroes adhere to a code and stick to them strictly. I think the heroes are, are normally also narcissists. Mm -hmm. They're just, I feel like the heroes and villains are both narcissists. They're just on two opposite ends of the spectrum. But, That's why a lot of people can say think, the same thing about the villains, though. Oh, we're gonna. I love well, things this. can be true. A lot, I listen, a lot of I, I love think, this. A lot of people think the Joker doesn't exist. It, those are two sides of Batman. Of Batman, right? There is. That's why he can't kill him. But I can say the same thing about Batman as a joke. That's, like, that's why that's, that's the dilemma. Yeah, that's the that's right. the point. It's the two sides of the same coin ordeal. So it's okay. So 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 what you're saying about okay, Damon, right? Mm -hmm. uh, like, yeah, of course, a villain. Uh, uh, most storylines are a villain becomes who he is because mm -hmm. of the shit that he went through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But so is a superhero. Mm -hmm. A superhero is what he goes through to to look at Captain America. Mm -hmm. Oh, like like I hate, but I hate Steve Rogers. Like, don't get me on my Steve Rogers kick. <laughs> you know, but, but but I'm saying who who you are made is through the experiences that you have, and you decide at the end of that story who you're gonna be, either a villain. Or baby face. That is on you. So what villain did you agree with? Was it Scar? You strike me as a Scar lover. Like he likes Scar. I'm not a villain. You were the bad not, boy. I, yeah, but that's You're the not original a bad boy. But that's not a villain. That's just somebody who was against the order, the the things how things were done that I didn't agree with. Most villains think the same way. Yeah. Next right. question so, on the five count. Am I still a villain? Am I still a villain now? I don't know what you got going on now. I don't oh, know. But, but, that's, <laughs> but, but that, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, like you, you, you know, the, the things that you go through through life, it's, it's your perspective, right? It's always your perspective. And you choose. Villain or heel is at the end of the story, you're going to look back and decide for yourself what you want to be. And wow, we get deep, but that's but that's what it is. I love I love this talk. I really love this talk. This is I like. The, I see myself as an anti-hero. Hey, fam, man. Yeah, but see, but that's why. Oh, why? We get, you, we, listen, we only have an hour and, a, and some change show. We don't want to get into that. That's a whole other <laughs> episode. 
I had no time limit for this podcast. Uh-oh. Oh, I had shit. no time limit for this podcast. Let's talk. I mean, if that's what if that's what we're gonna do, I, I really like to talk about. Let's talk about something meaningful. Let's talk about the anti like, some... for me, and I'll I'll do a more personal, more personal uh, view of it. Um, a lot of times, all most times, the villain has the right intention. I'm very much a preacher of. I don't know what his face is going through right now. But that's insane. He he has his wife. Hey, there. fam, where'd you go? His family's there, so he's probably uh, okay, okay. you know. So, um, <laughs> most villains have the right intention, but the impact is what defines who they are. So, a lot of times they just stick where you know. If this is who people already think that I am, there's no point point of me even trying to explain it. So, I think the impact versus intent argument always comes into play. Now, of course, you have some villains, and we're talking strictly TV. And movies, not really real life, because you know that can go any kind of way. But in TV and and movies, the villain always thinks he's doing the right thing for the right cause, but their methods are so unorthodox and so against the grain and so drastic. Most times, they end up being the villain. I I cannot think. Well, there's of course there's some crazy people, but most villains honestly have the right intentions here. But they're they don't know how to execute it. So for me, can you say, say that about the baby? Can you say can you say that about the heroes too? Can can you like because you're making an assumption, right? Well, no, they're kind of written in the movie as a villain. <laughs> so that's why we're specifically talking about TVs and movies. You have the protagonist, you have your antagonist. So case in point, the show. What's the um the the guys the the boys. The boys. The boys. So you have someone like Homelander, who in his mind, it, or in, to everyone else's mind, he's the hero. But he's a sick motherfucker for real. That's a fact. Homelander okay. is a nut. He's so a what nut bag. So what I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I, I, I think, I, I really think the, the concept of uh, good and evil and right and wrong and good guys and bad guys to be honest is when, when stories are told realistically mm-hmm. I don't think I think everybody shades of gray if you what look is at Alistair, realistically Alistair Black so, so, Alistair so, Black theme song is the perfect explanation to that no man is ever truly good no man is ever truly evil that right yeah. there is perfect but we're talking movies and TV shows, so you yeah. got protagonists and, and antagonists. So, like, who are the good guys? Who are the good guys on the wire? I, I never no watched that, but I heard uh... exactly. He lives in the wire. He doesn't have to watch. No, the no, wire. no, no. He no, goes it's... outside. The wire <laughs> is right outside. <laughs> <laughs> gotta keep the devil. Uh-uh. I can't. I can't. I can't. So, what we gonna do? With, mm-hmm. Let's let's kind of tie. That question into the third question on the five count because I think you'll kind of you'll you'll feel this. Okay. All right. What All conspiracy right. Th- theory do you believe is real? The aliens. Facts. They drive past Earth and be like, lock the door. It's ghetto yeah. over there. They trip. But I, I'm not saying it because of like the evidence that was shown to me on social media or anything. I, I mean, I. In my own right, I had my own experience. I don't believe. I don't ha- have to think anybody has to believe me. But what I saw and what you know, in my reality, what I saw and what I experienced was real enough to tell me, okay, all right, <laughs> something out there. You, you're there. <laughs> I'm gonna go on my life. I'm gonna do my thing. But I know you're there. And I, I get it. Know. Yeah, you know. Ain't That's no way that this thing. ball, the only ball, they got life on it. Hmm. There's no way. Yeah. And they just found that extra big earth. Did you see that shit? It's 13 Extra times. big earth? Did you say extra big earth? It's a super size <laughs> earth. She said, did you see that extra big earth? It's like, it's like 13. <laughs> yeah, it's called extra big earth. It's like 13. Oh, it is a real earth. deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, not yeah, an yeah. actual name, extra big earth. It's like K something. <laughs> nah, it's like K yeah. called K something. And it's like 13 times the size of regular earth. And I'm it's like, you trying, you trying to tell me that we got all this shit here. It ain't nothing over there. You're lying. Something over there. Yeah. I'm not trying to find out. They might got PlayStation 6. I'm fine. <laughs> 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 right, let me ask you this. 
What is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you in public? Oh, shit. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> um, why is, like, uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've been embarrassed in public so many times that I, I don't know who, who, like what is the what is the <laughs> look, man. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I was in high school. My mom beat us up in front of our friends. <laughs> she flipped my brother over. She did a judo throw to my brother, and like, like we come from a Tongan island, like this, you know, island family structure, culture. So we like, I don't know. We just we've been through it. We've seen it. I, I don't, my most embarrassed, define it, define what's, what, in where, what, what position. I mean, I think you, I think you hit it. Like, yeah, you getting beat, beat by your mama. Your mom. <laughs> We've all like, been there. Yeah, all my, all my close, like, my boys that I grew up with, they're like, they, they don't mess with my mom. They know about my mom, you know? They know about my mom and dad, and they've seen the embarrassing moments in front of everybody. So, I, I got nothing to hide, you know. I've been, I've been there. I got. <laughs> I feel like they, fam. I think they are cousins. They are. They are cousins. <laughs> Why'd you get an ass whooping from your mom in front of everybody? <laughs> that, that, that don't, you know, nothing else can really. Yeah, that's pretty much embarrass it. you, especially you know? in high school. That's right? that's yeah, pretty yeah, fucking that's, embarrassing. Yeah, that's that's not the height of your like. Look at me. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, was cool. you was cool. before mom showed up. You was cool <laughs> Ruin. It's all cool out your wall. Yeah, and mom, the last question on the five count, quick, real quick. <laughs> last question on the five count. Now this one's a little, a little interesting. If you could get away with one thing without getting caught, no matter what it is, what would it be? Oh, Robbing a bank. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> hey, hey. Cash. Oh. I can get away with one thing. That's All it. right. Let me, yeah, been... let me get this bank real quick. Yeah, hit that joint right fast. <laughs> right fast and go and get no, right. That's a, hey, that's, that was paying a... my house off or paying my mama house off. <laughs> so my, me a house. The only hey, reason, like, well. my, my, my brother, um, Tagalo and I, when we were kids, man, you know, we're like, all right, hey, what happens if we, if we don't make it? That was like the thing. Like, like, we gotta make it, man. What, what we gotta do? We gotta make it in football. We gotta make it wherever we can get. We can get. You know, we we're from a small ass island. I'm like, well, what happens if we don't make it? I guess we just gonna have to rob a bank. <laughs> you know, it's that just <laughs> we're gonna rob. I say, all right. Well, let's we, watch all the we, bank heists we can get. If we can watch on Netflix, and then <laughs> and I was just kidding. They didn't have Netflix back then, though. <laughs> no, that's what you do. Listen, this is what I'm telling you. So once you finish doing what you're doing that way, we go ahead and write this screenplay. Take it to Hollywood. I you tell you, job. I, I, yeah. Talk about it. You, that's what you do. You watch these movies to figure out what not to do to get what? caught. That's why women watch Snap. We watch Snap. To figure out what not to do to get caught. <laughs> so all y'all that have women that like to watch murder mysteries and stuff like that, she's learning. She's oh, taking. Thank God, notes. thank God, my wife just like HGTV. You know I what tell mean? you what, me and my best friend be over there like we in class. Uh, she great. said, "So don't do it's bleach that get you caught. It's bleach, okay? Bleach. Get you get caught, man." <laughs> that being said, before we get out of here, sir, first of all, I appreciate you coming through and representing for us. Um, what do you have coming up? And how can the folks get at you on social media? Uh, yeah. So, hey, you can find me. Put in some work. If you really want to find me, put in some work. All right. Find me. You know, you know where I'm at. Come, come find me. I had a chick say that to me one time. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I oh, shit. I didn't look into it. <laughs> hey, I'm okay with that. My man said, "My man said, Goof me, baby." <laughs> Not original, Tiana Taylor. God, hey, <laughs> put, in, put in some work. <laughs> put some work in. Damn it! Oh, man. Said it, man. You heard the man. Google him. Let me said, "I am not." 
famous enough to be Googleable. So I am Ilfam790, your social media choice, aka the R Anderson Podcast, and aka Captain Bro Albano, Brew Diamond Phillips, Cheeto Santana, Pot Champ Pot God Silver Podcast, the Potty Pipe Pipe, I'm here to podcast, Chew Bubblegum, and I'm all out of the team. Nice to see you your love, Daddy and WFAM, where family always matters, and my tag team partner. It's very simple. It's your girl, Lever Laveau. It's the Black Bruja with the big blue hair. And just because it's season two, do not forget that we still have merchandise. Make sure you go to foryourwear.com. Go to personalities. Scroll down. You'll see the blue hair and the black beard. That's us. Get your something else t-shirt and the hoodie. And as always, we are something else without the G because we are all the G you need. Peace. Message. What is that? What an hey, outro. Man. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. God. oh man. You got to see. Right, <laughs> Peace. Oh, oh, shit. Say it again. Say something else. Oh, say something else. Say something else, nigga.